Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and now I'd like to read you a biographical sketch of Professor Arnold Ehret. Professor Arnold Ehret was a German healer, dietitian, philosopher, teacher, visionary, and one of the first people to advocate fasting and a plant-based, vegan, and mucus-free lifestyle as a therapy for healing. For over 100 years, his written works and teachings have touched the lives of thousands of health seekers pursuing higher levels of vitality. Eret's most famous books, Mucusless Diet Healing System and Rational Fasting, continue to increase in popularity as plant-based, vegan, and raw food diets become more prevalent. Eret believed that pus and mucus-forming foods were unnatural for humans to eat and suggested that a diet of fruits and green leafy vegetables, that is, mucus-free foods, are the most healing and powerful foods for humans. Eret offers a sophisticated, yet simple and safe, transitional system for those who endeavor to stop eating pus and mucus-forming foods. Early Life Arnold Eret was born July 25, 1866, near Freiburg in Baden, Germany. His father was a gifted farmer who was so technologically advanced that he crafted all of his own farming equipment. Like his father, Eret would be endowed with a passion for studying the cause and effect of phenomena. His courses of interest were physics, chemistry, drawing, and painting. He also had an affinity for linguistics and could speak German, French, Italian, and English. At the age of 21, he graduated as a professor of drawing and was drafted into the military only to be discharged because of heart trouble. At the age of 31, he was diagnosed with Bright's disease, which is inflammation of the kidneys, and pronounced incurable by 24 of Europe's most respected doctors. He then explored natural healing and visited sanitariums to learn holistic methods and philosophies. In a desperate attempt to quench his misery, Eric decided to stop eating. To his amazement, he did not die, but gained in strength and vitality. In 1899, he traveled to Berlin to study vegetarianism, followed by a trip to Algiers in northern Africa, where he experimented with fasting and fruit dieting. Due to his new lifestyle, Eret completely cured himself of all of his diseases and could now perform great feats of physiological strength, including an 800-mile bicycle trip from Algiers to Tunis. His discovery caused him to posit that pus and mucus forming foods are the fundamental cause for all human illness and that fasting, simply eating less, is nature's primary method of cleansing the body from the effects of unnatural eating. Successful Healer In the early 1900s, Eret opened a hugely popular sanitarium in Ascana, Switzerland, where he treated and cured thousands of patients considered incurable by the so-called medical authorities. During the latter part of the decade, Eret engaged in a series of fasts monitored by German and Swiss officials. Within a period of 12 months, Eret completed a fast of 21 days, one of 24 days, one of 32 days, and one of 49 days, which stood as a world record for many years. Ultimately, Eric became one of the most in-demand health lecturers, journalists, and educators in Europe, saving the lives of thousands of people. Eric left from Bremen for the United States to see the Panama Exposition and sample the fruits of the continent. He found his way to California, which was of special interest to him. This was because the region was undergoing a horticultural renaissance due to botanists like Luther Burbank, who later paid tribute to Eric. At the time, the University of California also owned the world's largest collection of rare fruits. The war prevented him from returning to Germany, and he settled in Mount Washington where he prepared his manuscripts and diplomas in his cultivated eating gardens. He and other back-to-naturists began to influence local populations of young people to investigate plant-based natural living. Benedict Lust, a student of Eretz and early proponent of naturopathy, initially distributed the English language books of Eretz, Neep, Kuhn, Just, and Engelhard in the United States. 
This included Eretz Kranka Menchkin, literally meaning sick human beings, which became a bestseller. Eret worked at Lust's Youngborn Sanitarium for five years, then opened his own sanitarium in Alhambra, California, before a lecture tour. His course on the mucus diet healing system became a book of 25 lessons for his students. The book, along with Rational Fasting, became his most important and popular publications. Eret also developed and marketed his popular interclean herbal laxative formula death. On October 9th, 1922, just two weeks after he completed the mucusless diet healing system, he finished a series of four lectures on regaining health through fasting and the, quote, grape cure, which is a grape and grape juice fasting, at the assembly room of the Angeles Hotel on 5th and Spring Street, where it was reported that over a hundred persons were unable to find seats. After leaving the building between 11 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., Eret, at age of 56, fell, sustaining a fatal blow to his skull. According to Eret's business partner and publisher, Fred S. Hirsch, he was walking briskly on a wet, oil-soaked street during foggy conditions when he slipped on the curb and fell backward onto his head. Hirsch did not actually witness the fall, but found Eret lying on the street. Carl Kuhn, Eretz's German publisher during the 1920s, even questioned whether Eretz's fall was really an accident. Benedict Lust maintained that Eretz was wearing his first pair of new dress shoes and slipped as a result of his unfamiliarity with the footwear. To this day, the true nature of Eretz's death raises suspicion among his followers. Eretz's powerful healing successes, along with his influential and revolutionary new lifestyle, terribly threatened the medical, meat, and dairy industries. Due to these factors, many believe that foul play was involved in Eretz's untimely death. His powerful healing successes, along with his influential and radical new lifestyle, challenged the medical and agricultural industries. His writings on religion and family were also considered quite controversial. In the decades following Eretz's death, Fred Hirsch had many legal battles with the medical authorities over the word mucus and the inner clean laxative. Legacy Arnold Eret is a cultural icon and was an important protagonist of the emerging back-to-nature renaissance in Germany and Switzerland during the latter part of the 19th century. The influence of this renaissance spread to America and influenced many of the countercultural movements, including the Beat Generation, the vegetarian-driven hippie movement, veganism, and fruitarianism. Through the 20th century, the teachings of Eret have thrived and developed through the sincere efforts of a small group of dedicated Eretists. Today, Eret's teachings are gaining wider acceptance throughout the world as more people seek to investigate plant-based vegan healing and detoxification. Peace, love, and breath.